time skip on the character roster now time skips have very well influenced a lot of the upgrades slash evolution of characters in most of the storm games considering whenever we get a huge time skip we usually get upgrades that are basically go hand in hand with that time skip now the question i have for this discussion is how will the boruto naruto the movie time skip affect the naruto storm for roster now how you're probably asking oh how do you know we're gonna get all the boruto the movie content i mean the movie's not even out yet people let me tell you they have already dipped their foot in the naruto boruto the movie content the moment they let out that trailer that showed boruto and sarada and it had underneath them from boruto naruto the movie that directly means that we will be getting content from that movie now that they've already put that out you can't just withdraw your foot that's like going to the mall costco sam's club big stores like that you know how they give you the little chicken samples that's like saying here have this chicken sample we're gonna give you three little pieces you're like damn this shit good as fuck hey can i purchase the full package nah yeah. fam that's exactly how they would sound if they denied us the whole scope of the boruto naruto the movie content once you already give people a sample it's not like you can just tell them no we're not giving you any more and considering the release date they have way more than enough time to actually go into detail of everything that happened in the movie and cover all the content that was in the movie now why i think that this uh this time specifically this time skip will be huge is because in the board to nard to the movie a lot has changed i mean we got characters that have evolved from not even being playable to seemingly being playable such as asuma's daughter uh Marae Saratobi, she she was too little to even be playable in other games, but in Boruto Nautilus of the movie, she's at least a tuning level shinobi. And you can even look at the other Saratobi, you can look at Konohamaru's Saratobi, who is now a full-fledged jonin and the leader of Boruto's squad, his sensei. So we got characters like him, we got characters like Marae. I mean, there's a lot of people who have basically evolutionized the way their character works. So they're talking about, oh, we need to add all these uh, girls and we're lacking girls to the roster. Add Marae Saratobi. She's most likely going to demonstrate some shit and Boruto Naruto the movie. So I mean, add her, uh, add her in the roster. I mean, it's not going to hurt. You have Hanabi Hyuga who hasn't done shit. So, I mean, you might as well add that. Like... If this game does not cover Boruto Naruto the movie content after what they just pulled with Boruto and Sarada, I'm as soon as I get the disc, take the disc out, put that bitch in the microwave, put that bitch on popcorn. I'm melting that bitch. I don't give a fuck. Like they really need to think about the decisions they're making. Well, they're basically expanding their expectations. They're talking about they're gonna put wall running. Now they're getting giving us Boruto characters like. If you can't do this, don't do it. Like, no, they were trying to make it the perfect storm game, but I don't know. Tell me your thoughts down below. I'm just curious on what you guys think about this. Well, do you think the time skip for this one will be a huge revolutionary point for the Storm 4 game in, in terms of content? Hit me up in the comments. I'm out.